hi guys welcome to another video session in this video I will show you how to integrate protractor allo report into Jenkins and make your protractor scripts in your organization in your project to run in CD C, CI CD pipeline so first of all we have to do is we have to come up with some protractor scripts so I have come up with protractor scripts this is a uh, protractor scripts which will do a basic uh, navigating to a site and logging into a site which is called automationpractice.com so what I have done is I have created two page objects which is in uh, protractor called home page and sign in page so if we go to the home page you can see that I have done the relative page object for the home page in protractor and also let's move into the sign in page where I have to browse in and take it okay. sign in page here we are so look, let's look at that one also here I have given the elements and I have given the functions the methods for manipulating the elements so this is a page object model so I am in the home page I have created the home page function so main main, main page consist of these two the, that's the test case so I'm using the page object and running my test scenario of a login so to run in successfully we first have to uh, come up with the yeah the web drive web drive manager so we have to do a web drive manager run it's like simple so you have to install web drive manager and uh, you had to stay start the web driver manager from web driver manager web driver dash manager start so it will start the web driver service you can see it gets started so the next thing is we have to go to the location we have to get protractor installed so protractor can be installed very easily you go to protractor protractor test and you can go to the protractor site so protractor is used for non-angular angular automation so you can download protractor this has the inst uh, necessary instructions to download so npm install minus uh, dash g protractor will give you the global installation of protractor in your machine so this is how you st update the web drive manager and how you start it which I had told you earlier so after start installing protractor okay what you have to do is you have to go to the uh, you have to type protractor and you have to go to the location where you have the configuration file so the configuration conf.js it's very simple here we are so we have to specify this is the configuration J so I'm using Jasmine 2 framework and in the specs I had to give the you the location of my test scenario which uses the page object so I'm using the browser Chrome and I have integrated allo reporting with Jasmine uh, for the test execution reporting method so typically we have this in our organization so this is how we do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this first in the in the command prompt. So I'm just uh, telling to execute in protractor this particular JS, this uh, configuration file which specifies the test file uh, which I have main.js. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute it locally and check it out whether it's working fine. So you can see, you can see it comes up in Chrome, goes to the automation practice site and goes to the login page and tries to log in. So that's how the scripts work. So now what I have to do is I have to integrate this to my Jenkins. So I have created a freestyle project, it's very much simple. 
now here I have executed it for a while so what I've done is I have first gone I have created a freestyle project from Jenkins it's uh, very simple you go to a new item and you specify your project name okay say pro Tracked, uh, my uh, will put pro 2 select the freestyle project and click OK so I have created already a protractor project uh, let me open it up let's go to the configuration section so when you create the new project you have to go to configuration section and you simply have to you know select uh, add build setup and click on execute windows batch command and just put the batch command that we had typed so your machine is already configured to run so say this is the execution no node execution machine so you put that one up and save it and we had to add allo reporting so allo reporting jenkins plugin is already there. it's free so we'll just go there also go to manage jenkins and you can go to add in manager plugins so it's in the available go to available and you can search hello a double l u r e so uh, mine is already installed so if it's available if it's not installed you have to install it from uh, jenkins plugins so once it is installed you can get this hello jenkins plugin so this is the plugin to do hello reporting so you get information about this when you click there once installed you had to go back and you had to configure this go to manage Jenkins then uh, you had to have your uh, let's go to configuration and see okay so you will see this allo report so I have not added any properties so let's save and go to again manage Jenkins and you can go to co configuration so you have to have your JDK 9 installed and you have to specify in the Java home uh, field the part of the JDK 9 so I have JDK 9.0.4 installed then what I had to do is uh, you had to go to allo command line and you had to see name give a name for the allo command line so I have set allo then inst check install automatically select uh, the latest version so it's 2.7.0 but I have selected 2.6.0 then after that save it right then you had to go to your project okay go to your project mine is protractor then go to the configuration and add this uh, path so the path is uh, C your username then dot Jenkins workspaces protractor this will automatically get created this is your uh, Jenkins project path and create a folder within this called allo dash results and just save it that's that's very simple so what we have to do is then we have to trigger the build we can do it uh, manually so I'm manually triggering the build so you can see a build is getting triggered from Jenkins and if you see the console output so it is being executed in Jenkins here so the protractor script is getting executed in Jenkins your CD solution uh, CI solution continuous integration now you can see the report has got generated so once your allure is installed properly and working you get a link called allure report so you can see that allure trends history also being generated and if you go to the allure report you can see the report is generated successfully in the through Jenkins so this is how we integrate protractor into your continuous integration continuous delivery pipeline with Jenkins and also allo report also with Jenkins hope you like this video if you like this video please put a like in the LinkedIn post thanks guys